Hello, here is skill 5. First we'll be forming an embouchure. Embouchure is what our lips look like in order to form a note. So the first thing we're going to do as a tuba player is make sure that our teeth are far apart. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my thumb, turn it sideways, and put my thumb between my teeth. And however far apart that is, that's where your teeth should always be. Then, with your teeth apart, close your lips. And we're going to say the word banana. And we're just going to use the first letter, B for banana. B. So, thumb, separate my teeth. form our first sound, when we form the B, we're going to try to keep our lips closed while putting air through, and we will end up with what we call a buzz. Okay? We also always want to have wet lips. We're going to lick our lips just like that. Teeth apart. Make sure that the chin is relaxed and flat, and if you can, try not to puff your cheeks. Once we have the embouchure formed, we're going to take our mouthpiece. Tuba has the biggest mouthpiece of the brass family, and we're going to center it right under our nose, and we're going to have half of the mouthpiece on the top lip and half of the mouthpiece on the bottom lip like this. Okay? The best way to hold a tuba mouthpiece is with the left hand, or you could use your right hand, that's okay too, uh, two fingers on top and thumb underneath, and you're going to hold it the back end. This is called the shank. This is called the cup. We're going to hold it by the shank. So we're going to try to buzz into the mouthpiece. We're going to make sure our teeth are far apart. Close our lips. Now, when you first try it, you may get something like this. Or maybe something that sounds like this. If you get the first one, you've got a really good start. You just need to keep blowing lots of air. Very fast spin, fast spin. So if you get just a little buzz, you got the right idea, take a bigger breath, and Blow as hard as you can. You want to think like you're already 12 years old, or maybe you are, I don't know, and you've got a birthday cake in front of you, and you're blowing out all those candles in one breath. You would probably go, and not, so the first one is what we want. If you get no buzz, just air, that's because your lips have separated. So we want to work on keeping our lips together while blowing air out at the same time. Now here's one other little trick for two of mouthpiece. If you're having trouble keeping the note because this is such a big mouthpiece, you can take your ring finger and ever so slightly cover the back of the shank. That will add some resistance and it will help you get some of the notes. 
So now let's try a couple of exercises. First, let's see how long you can hold one note. We'll try me first. <sighs> Maybe you can hold it for longer. Try it. Great. Next one, siren. We're gonna play some low notes and some high notes. And to play higher notes, I'm gonna make the air spin even faster and tighten my lips. So first, I'm gonna start down low. And then I'm just going to uh, spin the air faster, tighten my lips so that the pitch goes up. And then go back down. And then try going up and down. 